This is something that I've actually never heard anybody write about. Um, it's actually quite important. If you actually take a look at some of the best photographers um, and their artwork, um, actually when uh, many of them actually came by through the photography school, um, I, I'd kind of laugh into the second year there when uh, people would ask them what sort of gear they were using and uh, you know the photographers, the famous ones, would you know roll their eyes and it's like, oh geez, you know. They've transcended that. However, there are a certain amount of them that never got into that, and they certainly don't have to. Photography is an art form. Um, that's like asking a painter. It's like, you know, on your cobalt blue, does that contain, uh, you know, the old type cobalt, uh, which uh, had the magnesium? And it's like, I don't give a shit, you know. <laughs> I'm a painter. I don't know. Um, it certainly is true that many of the best photographers um, today have said that you not only have to be a, a technician, um, but you also have to have, uh, you know, the heart of a poet. And uh, Ansel Adams, for example, and there are many examples, many examples. Um, not only had to know the technical craft of uh, his skill, how to push, develop the zone system, how to do uh, a lot of things. Uh, um, with uh, his paper, um, push processing, um, how to change, uh, uh, keep the speculars, but uh, actually raise uh, the shadows up in his uh, processing. He had a lot of technical stuff. Obviously, he was a, a, a master photographer, and uh, there are many other people that have actually had to do that. Um, you need to keep both of those things in mind. I've actually seen uh, the true, uh, the two different radical extremes. It's like, well, if you're a good photographer, then the technical doesn't matter. That certainly is the case. However, what if, for example, you were to take some of the best photographers that know nothing about uh, certain aspects of uh, what they could do uh, with Lightroom presets and uh, some other technical aspects of, say, you have a master photographer that's, and there are many of these, that are using some of the shittiest lenses out there. Just imagine that same person with the same skills that were using better equipment and were doing a few different things. You would actually take someone that is really awesome at what they do and just bring them up another level to the point where it just wows you. Um, I've seen some of the technical people that actually write books on photography and you know, they, they write manuals on which buttons to push on the latest and greatest camera, and uh, that certainly has its place, but when they show you uh, test shots, and, uh, you know, I, I do this too, I mean, I'm so pressed for time. You know, they'll show you test shots while they're, uh, you know, uh, they're out doing their thing, and uh, they're extremely technical, and uh, you know, there's absolutely no poetry in in projecting themselves through the camera. I'm not saying that uh, you know you uh, have to have uh, any uh, serious skills as far as the the technical craft of photography, but it definitely does not hurt. It definitely does help. A lot of people are uh, completely emotional, and uh, they have uh, you know no logical mind about them, and. Uh, these people are very passionate in what they do, and sometimes they project themselves through the camera beautifully, and they've struggled with a camera for goodness knows how long, maybe a short period, maybe a long period, but they're masters at their craft. But you do need to have both of those. Now, where is the drawing line? Where is the dividing line between uh, the technical as far as knowing which is the best lenses to use, what sort of Lightroom presets are best to achieve the look that you want to go for? They used to think there was a lot of stuff in film, and there was. I mean, the chemicals and the development, and uh, oh my god, it was just a nightmare. I mean, I just don't want to deal with those chemicals and paper again. I still got nightmares about that crap. But it is as much that, that the case now as it ever was, except now we're doing with computers and raw files. And we have to know all these technical things in addition to projecting ourselves through the camera and using the camera as an extension of our body to actually bring the image, make it manifest um, uh, to the vision that we have in our heads or to capture the correct moment or to create the correct moment that you actually think up something and then you take a model out and you actually pose and you actually bring uh, life to your imagination. But you also have to have the technical skills to know how 
not only to project yourself through the camera, but the technical skills to know, well, I need to go from here to here. How do I get there? You might have all the passion in the world, and the photos that you take may be incredible. It's like, well, isn't that enough? Well, yeah, it is. But what if you could actually marry those two, say, you know, the logical Vulcan side that knows all the technical aspects and the math, and combine that with uh, the passion of a poet. I think there's an ancient saying about, uh, you know, uh, the best of them is the one that has uh, the passion of a poet and the mind of a mathematician. This is the perfect marriage of uh, the technical and the artistry. And uh, if you could actually bring those two together in perfect marriage, actually some of the best photographers that I've ever seen, Dean Collins, for example, he was he had the passion to project himself through the camera but he also had the uh, extreme technical wherewithal to be able to calculate lighting ratio who the hell calculates lighting ratios anymore not many people and that's really unfortunate i mean it's really 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 unfortunate you know that technical stuff once you actually work on it then it becomes a subconscious reflex reflex so you're not thinking about it but you do have to master it and when you master something fully you don't think about it the best uh, sports people in the world basketball skiers or whatnot they master the technical to the point that it becomes a subconscious reflex and they no longer think about it anymore they are but not consciously consciously they're only thinking about achieving their goal and they're taking those technical skills that they know how to you know set their boot laces and straps a certain way so they don't wiggle keep absolute repeatable consistency all this stuff applies to photography and those are the technical aspects that actually help make manifest uh, the artistry that you want to project through the camera and manifest in the image that you want to create so you may be one of the best photographers out there but if you could add something extra you know nobody I've never met any true master of photographer that says you know I've actually reached it you know I can't go any further I don't think I've ever heard any of them say that not only would that be incorrect it would be incredibly hubristic that there's always another level that that you can reach and uh, some people have reached the maximum level of the technical but they have no poet within them it's like I understand everything about raw processing I understand everything about lenses whereas nobody does except for maybe me uh, <laughs> they've mastered all these various things but they don't have any poetry within their soul it's like well great now you know everything but you can't take a fucking picture right um, or there's the opposite side you know someone is a poet and people love their work it's like wow yeah but what if it could go a little bit further if they had the technical wherewithal to marriage the technical with the poetry the, the the soul of the poet that they have within them and their photographic skills and both of those things are necessary which percentage is which you know you can decide that one i'm certainly not going to say it's 40 50 or 30 70 because if i do that someone's going to have a hissy fit and start flinging poo at me like a rabid monkey on crack so i'm not going to give it a percentage um, but there definitely has to be a marriage between those two things and nobody talks about this but that is something that's important to talk about and uh, it's valid it's entirely valid and it's palpable i've seen it over the years and uh, anybody that thinks about it you'll know that what i've just said is true so it's good enough to be a great photographer or even a really good photographer but what about always pushing the limit it's like do you have the the soul of a poet but you don't have any of the technical skills or do you have like all these technical skills but you're like a robot it's like you know the robot has all that he knows everything about how to do this and that preset and this lens and that app yeah but he has you know it's like great he knows everything but he can't do shit with it right it's like he knows all that stuff but he can't do anything with it where's the soul it's like it has to be both it has to be it doesn't have to be both you know if you have the soul of a poet and you know your camera halfway good i mean you could be one of the world's best photographers you may not be working with the best gear or you may not be able to you know maybe use some i've seen some of the best photographers and they have the heart of a poet but they're using like a shitty old lens that i wouldn't even wipe my ass with but they have got skill they have got the poetry they they manifest that through their camera even with that shitty lens 
but what if, you know, what if they used a great lens? What if they knew how to really screw around in Photoshop and Lightroom? It's like, wow, they go from awesome to, oh my God, holy shit, you know, wow, this is stuff. <laughs> That's really, really, really rare. Dean Collins had it. A few other people had it, like Joe McNally. Didn't have it, he has it. Dean Collins is dead now. Um, people that actually have the perfect marriage of both of those are incredibly rare and few and far between.